All right, this video is for the 89 calculators, and this is how to find a zero. Um, remind yourself that a zero is also an x-intercept, a root, a solution. So any problem that asks you to find any of the above, you would use this feature called zero on your calculator. So I'm using the same function that I used for the max min video. So you might have that in there or not, I guess, depending on when you watch these videos. So if you go to your y equals and enter your function, okay, so y equals is diamond f1, and go ahead and type in 3x squared, and remember to square something you do, caret 2, minus 10x minus 19, and press enter so it saves that function. Okay, then I always recommend that good old standard window to just kind of get you hopefully to see something. So if you go to zoom f2, um, right, zoom right there, so f2 and then standard windows number 6, and we should see a parabola opening up because A is positive. Um, I can't see my minimum, but I can see my two solutions, zeros, x-intercepts, roots. That's all I need to see. So I don't need to adjust my window, but if I only, let's say I only saw like a little piece of my graph and I couldn't see the other x-intercept, then I would have to adjust. You're probably going to be adjusting your um, x-mins and maxes to see um, your x-intercepts. So same directions as max and mins except for you want to try to see those x-intercept crossings. So I'm good. I'm okay with what I see. So next bullet from my graph I'm going to go to F5 which again is math, right? And then choose number two, which is zero. Notice your ma mix min and max are here also, but we're going with zeros now for x-intercepts. So choosing that, it's going to give you the whole lower bound, upper bound again, um, but a little bit different here. Okay, so you want to move your cursor to one of your zeros. It doesn't matter which one you go to first. So let's say we want to find this one. So I'm going to try to get my cursor over there, and sometimes it takes a little bit to find your cursor. Look at your y value, by the way. That'll tell you where you're at, so you can find your cursor a little bit easier. Now, for lower bound, you actually want to press enter to the left of your zero. So if it's opening up, it's like you follow the flow always from left to right. So to the left of, here's my zero, so to the left of it, or lower bound is to the left of it, so just above it actually, and press enter. Then it's going to prompt you for upper bound. Well, upper bound is kind of to the right of your zero, so again, if I follow the flow of the parabola to the right of my zero, it would actually be below my zero, so I press enter, and it's going to give me my zero, which is um, negative 1.35 etc cetera, etc cetera. and that's how you calculate a zero now if down here a little disclaimer if you get an error message you did your lower and upper bounds backwards which happens so be real careful if you get an error message don't fret just go back and redo it and try to switch whatever you think you did for your lower and upper bounds another thing if you get a y value that reads something like um, instead of zero it says like 1.2 e to the negative 19 that's essentially zero um, so you're fine uh, and every once in a while it just can't quite compute that zero for you exact, and, and, and that's obviously good enough. Now if you wanted to calculate the other one, you do the same thing. So I go back to um, F5 for math, and then zero. So F5, choose zero. Now I want to go over, get my cursor over to the other zero. And there's my cursor. So now I'm following the flow, so left of it is actually below it for this one. So lower bound is to the left, which is below. Press enter. Upper bound is above it. So bring my cursor above that zero and press enter. And that zero is at 4.685, etc., comma zero. And here's a great example. Notice mine says 2e to the negative 12. Yours might not say exactly what mine says, but that's essentially zero. And that's totally fine. And that's how you calculate a zero. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.